Hello, my name is Sean V. Martin, and this is a tutorial on how to use SK's World Guard, a plugin for Minecraft. In this first tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics of how you define a region. Afterwards, I'll get into flagging, and then I'll get into more complicated functions like priorities and inheritance. The ability to use World Guard, of course, depends on your permission on your server. I'm an administrator on this server, so I know I have full rights to use it. Make sure you have full rights before you try and use it on your server. The reason I'm holding this piece of string in my hand is because it's a very useful World Guard tool. If you look at the floor of a region, right click, it'll tell you if there are any regions there. There are no regions in this castle, which is why we're here today. The first thing I'll do is use my trusty wooden axe to make a region around this castle. When you're defining a region, keep in mind that you can always redefine it later, but think about what kind of functions you're creating the region for. For instance, I'm thinking about creeper exploding, protecting this entire building. If I want to do that, I need to make sure I get all of it, all the way down to the bottom, all the way up to the top. If I'm only thinking about making a certain level of it heal my players on my server, I only really need to surround the level that is going to do that. In this case, I'm going to do both, so I'm going to encompass the entire castle. As you can see with the world edit mod that I have turned on, link is in the info, I have selected the entire building. I'll do this by writing region, define, or just D, and then the name of my region. I'm going to call this clone castle prime. By default, I am now the only person who can use this region because I selected it and I created it, it's mine. To allow other players to use the region, when you're defining it, write region define, the name of the region, clone castle prime, then all of the authors of it. So Sean V. Martin is me. Stevie G101 is the other administrator. Now either one of us can edit that property. Say you made a mistake in defining the exact area. Maybe I didn't go high enough. I'll expand my selection up to meet that requirement. And then I will use region redefine and the name of the region. The world edit frame wire mod is also very useful for recalling a selection. So if you've deselected a region, you want to see exactly where it is, you can write region, select, or just S, and then the name of your region, in this case, Clone Castle Prime. Now the region is selected again, so I can remember exactly where it is. Region info, and then the name of the region, will give you all of the information that the server has on this property. Finally, region remove or delete will both get rid of a region from the world. So... Goodbye, Clone Castle Prime. But not really goodbye. In the next tutorial, we're going to get into setting some flags for this area. So I'm going to redefine it back again because we need to use it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please pass it along to anyone who you think might find it useful. If you're interested in knowing more about our server, please check out minecraftbob.com. That stands for Minecraft Band of Builders. Follow me on Twitter at Sean B. Martin, and I will see you next time. Thank you.